I was right. It happened. IWC brought back the Gerald Genta engineer model. So during Watches and Wonders, IWC announced that they uh, brought back uh, Gerald Genta engineer model. And people are actually confused and some are furious about this uh, new IWC engineer. So a few weeks ago, I made a video about the possibility of uh, IWC bringing back uh, the Gerald Genta engineer model. Uh, I didn't have any insight or anything. It was based on uh, rumors that I was reading on uh, watch forums. When I made the video about rumors, uh, I expressed a few concerns and uh, some of them actually came true, unfortunately which um, I'm gonna talk about right now in this video. I said that the watch would be between 40 and 41 millimeter case size, so it is a 40 millimeter case size, um, which is great. I think that's a good size. I wish they would make it still a little bit um, less, like 38 maybe, but uh, I can't judge before seeing the watch because I have to see it, I have to try it, because uh, integrated bracelet watches, they can be tricky on your, on your wrist. Uh, I had a video before about Jero Pergola Ruata, um, in 42 millimeters and I was pretty sure that this watch would be out of uh, uh, my range like it would be too big for me it would be too bulky for me I would not be comfortable on my wrist but I was so surprised when I tried the watch it was slim it was it was hugging my wrist really well it was incredibly comfortable on my wrist if I had the budget for this watch I probably would get it in a blink and why so maybe with uh, this model it would be the same another thing that I said the based on rumors there were gonna be four models and it is four models actually three of them in stainless steel and one in uh, titanium it all came true i'm still surprised how accurate the rumors were we have a different dial color variations we have black we have silver which i would like to see in white better than silver but anyway we have aqua color that we call it it's a turquoise color kind of and we have a titanium model with also like a silverish kind of gray silver dial and another thing that i was afraid of that they will uh, price it too high and i was right about that uh, again that could be a debatable uh, question but uh, in my view in my opinion they overpriced it uh, by a few thousand uh, dollars i would like to see the price slightly above uh, mark uh, 20 maybe uh, but uh, I think it's pretty high for what it is right now. And I was reading comments about the price. People are furious about the price. They think that uh, IWC just um, overpriced it by uh, pretty big margins. Let me know in the comments what you think about the price. Do you think it is a fair price or they overpriced it? Anyway, let's go quickly over the specs uh, here. So we have, as I said, we have four models. We have three stainless steel models. We have different uh, dial variations we have black we have silver we have turquoise what they call aqua uh, model uh, we have like a grayish kind of color uh, dial uh, for the titanium version it is automatic movement uh, it is 40 meters to diameter it has integrated bracelet of course the watch has a 100 meters of water resistance screw down crown which is great as i understand it doesn't have uh, actual in-house movement the movement they use is belongs to the richmond group Group. so it's not like actually in uh, IWC in-house movement but more like um, their group movement and um, it's not like people usually consider as a true in-house movement anyway I don't really care much about whether it's in-house or not uh, but I think at this price point what they asking for it should be probably in-house movement anyway tell me what you think about that so it has a 32-111 caliber with 120 hours of power reserve which is impressive that's a pretty good power reserve uh, rating it has slightly domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on both sides uh, anti-reflective coating could be scratchable so you may see in the future some scratches on the anti-reflective coating uh, on top of the crystal it has a soft iron inner case for protection against magnetic fields which was the main purpose of engineer it was made for engineers who are working in a magnetic field tough environment they needed their watches to be anti-magnetic this still uh, could be used for those purposes the prices here in canada 15,200 canadian dollars for the stainless steel version for titanium it is higher uh, let me see and the titanium version is 19,100 uh, Canadian dollars, which is almost 20,000 uh, Canadian dollars. So this is a pretty steep 
price. This is a pretty high price for IWC engineer model. I think it's a great watch. I, uh, I'm glad that they brought it back. I'm pleased to see that my previous video was uh, spot on. So the rumors were true. I think all points that I was saying in this video was true. They did exactly the same model as it was expected based on those rumors in the video. If you like, check this uh, video about the IWC engineer rumors. So my conclusion is I'm glad that they did it. I'm glad that they brought this uh, engineer, gel gent engineer back to life. It looks great on pictures and videos, a little bit plain to my taste, but again, it's uh, videos and pictures, so I have to see it in the metal to um, decide whether I like it or not. But these three things I'm not quite happy about uh, this model. So the dial pattern, I feel like the dial pattern could be better. I think that the white dial instead of silver would be also better option. I'm not quite sure about the size yet. Videos and photos suggest that watch would be very comfortable on, on a wrist. And the price, of course. The price, I think they overpriced it. So uh, let me know your thoughts about this watch. Let me know your thoughts about this release. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye now and take care.